Welcome back guys to another video here by Glock Productions. My name is Toby and today we're going to be doing my March Madness Bracket. Um, sorry if you hear snoring or my sister talking. It's my dog sleeping and my sister getting ready for bed. <clears throat> so obviously I enter all the free brackets on NCA.com, ESPN, CBS, Official March Madness, all that stuff. Um, super fun, just to maybe get a perfect bracket and win whatever the jackpot is, which has never happened. But I will be entering a $25 tournament. Um, in first place, we'll get 40% of the earnings. Second, we'll get 25. Third, 20. Fourth, 10. And fifth, 5. And then the house or the person who organizes it takes 10%. The scoring for us works. It's a little different. It's not just the, it, each round is 32 points and you just divide it by how many games. For us, it's um, first round, 2 points. Second round, 3. Third round, 5. Fourth round, 7. Fifth round, 10. Final round, 12. And then plus one point for every differential in an upset is how that's going to work. So if I, um, I think this is how it's going to work. If a 16 beats a one seed, the differential will be 16 um, minus one, which would be 15 plus the win. So that'll be six, 16 points for that. And then also in the first round, will be two points. So I'll be 18 points, I believe. We'll see. The final game, I believe, is on April 3rd in um, Houston. So that's kind of cool. Now I want to go through my bracket. So now to do my bracket, I'll change my name, obviously. But first, you don't want to do anything too crazy. This one, uh, the one season only lost one time in like around 175 games. So I'm going to choose Alabama. They're the, technically the one rank overall. And on this app, you could just look here for quick analysis. Second, um, I'm going to go Maryland. I somewhat follow college basketball for the most part. I've been watching it recently. Um, I'm going to take San Diego State, who just won their conference. And then Virginia, even though they lost to Texas um, in their conference game, or I mean to Duke in their conference game, it was still a very good game. So I have the 1, 8, 5, and 4 so far. This year, I don't think there's going to be any major upsets. Obviously, this will be funny to look back on in two weeks if there's crazy upsets, and I'm completely wrong. But I believe there's not going to be anything crazy. Creighton should not be a 6 seed. They are way better. That's something I do know. And um, NC State is... I feel like it was like the last team, and they should be like a 15 or 16 seed. Uh, if they win this game, that's unbelievable. I would this game. The next game I was really conflicting was um, Baylor and um, University of Santa Barbara. But I'm gonna stick with Baylor. They have a good resume. Um, I don't have them going far anyway, so this one game for me would just be, I believe, two points. So not that crazy. And here, a lot of people picking Utah State, but. The teams they have beat are just not that good. And Missouri has actually played high caliber teams and actually beat some of those high caliber teams. And I'll pick Arizona. So I actually in this uh, upper bracket, I have no upsets so far. And I'll continue with that trend with Alabama. But then the first, I guess, upset, but this is one C. I'm going to take San Diego State over Virginia. And then Creighton over Baylor. Like I said, I don't have Baylor going far anyway. So if um, University of Santa Barbara does pull it out, that's good me i might switch that pick actually just so i can maybe get 11 points but at the same time i kind of want to just get three um and then i pick arizona i think this is where creighton run um runs end as arizona just played an outstanding game against ucla um they have the perfect team bigs guards and i think i could have them going um to the elite eight who will be playing alabama and we'll come back to that game now to go down to the east uh, the first, um, two of the first four games played today already, but the one, the opponent against Purdue has not played yet. Oh, wait, how, no, they have not. They played tomorrow. That's right. Purdue, I'm going to have winning once again. Don't ruin your bracket by picking a 16 seed. If you're doing them for fun, you make 20 brackets, sure, pick Purdue. Next year, I'm going to pick Memphis. They are a powerhouse. Um, I, I can see them going somewhat far in this tournament. And then I'm a huge Duke fan. Blue Devil. I know sometimes it's controversial to pick them in the tournament as some people get favorites. And then I'm also huge Tennessee. I say my favorite teams in college basketball, Tennessee, Duke, Texas, Texas A&M, and Texas Tech, and obviously Cal. Cal and Texas Tech are not in it, so it just leaves me down to four. I also really like Kentucky. And to bring up Kentucky, I'm going to have them over Providence. I know a lot of people are picking Providence to win that game. I'm going to be honest, some games I don't know much about, like um, Kansas State, I do not know much about them. They were like the 8 or the 19 a few years back, and they went pretty far. 
But I have them winning this game against Montana State. And if you're new, newcomer, you can just look overall here. Um, net ranking is like the overall ranking. So I, I'll just go with Kansas State. And then Michigan State. USC, I, I just... I don't know. Their season wasn't very respectable, in my opinion. And then I'll pick Marquette, as they're a very good team. Especially for basketball, which is weird. Um... First up, I'm going to have an upset here. I'm going to have Memphis beat Purdue. Purdue has one of the weakest three-point shooting in March Madness. Sometimes you need to hit threes to get back in it or get on a run. And it's kind of like the Denver Nuggets in the NBA. Jokic is slow, big, and methodical, but sometimes the fast tempo um, ruins their gameplay. So I do not see them winning here. And then I have Duke over Tennessee. It's gonna. I think it would be a closer game if Tennessee had their point guard, but he tore his ACL a while back. And then down here, I'm going to have Kentucky beat Kansas State. And then Marquette. So this is where it's... Uh, the last, like I said, up here. Um, pretty standard. One, two, five, six. Down here, I have an eight, five, six, two. And I'm going to pick the f number five, Duke, against number two, Marquette. So it's a little bit different. We have a one, two, two, five. So far. And to go over here to the Midwest. Once again, easy pick Houston. Um, even though they lost um, by like nine or so in their last game. I'm going to pick... Iowa down here. They have good history, good um, presence in the NCAA tournament. Down here, Miami. Uh, I'm submitting my bracket tomorrow as my parents are going to be leaving. Um, my official bracket to get paid. And Miami is down two players. That could change and that could alter the outcome of this game. But I'm going to go with the common 12-5 upset and I'm going to pick Drake here. And then I'm going to pick Indiana. They have a really good resume. They played high caliber teams, pulled out some of them and kept those games close. Down here, Pittsburgh just won their first four games, so they'll be playing Iowa State. But their run ends there, as I'm going to pick Iowa Iowa State. Xavier, I know they went far a few years back. They did good in their conference tournament. I have them winning the first game, but as you will see, I will not have them going far. Texas a and I'm a huge fan of them. So it's a little biased right here. Penn State is a very hard matchup, but I'm going to pick Texas a and They're a strong built team. And then to stay with the Texas trend, I'm going to pick Texas. Ever since I was a little kid, I've liked these teams, like three or four, maybe the letter T. I'm nowhere from Texas or whatnot. So right here, got a little bit, a few more upsets. I'm going to stick with Houston, and I kind of already explained myself. Um, the Drake game, Miami, it's a little risky to take them go far if Miami's players come back and they win. So I'm going to pick Indiana. And then here I'm going to have Iowa State playing Texas in the Sweet 16. To go down to the Elite Eight, I'm going to have Houston playing Texas. So once again, just a one-two across the board. I know it's not that fun, but sometimes fun um, is what makes you lose. Down here to the final section, I'm going to have Kansas in the first game, and then Arkansas. In the second round, this game could be actually very difficult. That's why I don't have Kansas going far, but I actually do have um, them winning that game. So I'll obviously say what I have there already. St. Mary's, my cousin goes there uh, for its scholarship for D1 soccer. So I'm going to stick with them. VCU, I don't know. They could pull up the upset. It seems I don't want too many 12-5s. But UConn, UConn could be a complete powerhouse like the women's tournament. They are very good. I could have them going deep in this tournament. Even though they're a four seed, understandable. Nevada, if they win, TCU is going to have an easier path. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt. But I still believe TCU is going to win. And then I have Gonzaga. As this is only Grand Canyon's like second time in the tournament. Not much experience. I picked Boise State year after year. I have my old bracket from 2021, the COVID year. And I picked Boise State. They're like, apparently, I looked it up. They're 0-8 or 0-12 in the tournament. And I'm praying this is where they, it switches up. I'm picking Boise State. Um, I hope they can pull out that game. And then I'm going to pick UCLA, even though they're a little banged up. Top to bottom, I'll pick UCLA again. Don't have much faith in Boise State. And Northwestern, well, I feel like lose to UCLA as well. Here, I'm going to pick Gonzaga. I actually don't know much about this game, so this will be something good to look at here. You can see the net ranking leans their way. Most of the statistics lean to Gonzaga, so I'm going to, I'm going to stick with that because I don't know every every team, every game, and whatnot. And then, like I said, UConn. So this is where it gets very difficult for me. I have UCLA. So I have a lot of two seeds. I think I have actually all two seeds. Um, and then Kansas versus UConn, I'm going to take UConn. Statistically, in the past... Um, there's a lot of upsets earlier on, and then as it goes down, there's usually like one or none. And I know you can't base anything on statistics, but 
I'm going to pick UConn to win this game. As we get down to my final four, I'm going to pick Texas to win here, Alabama here, and then Duke over Marquette here. So here is my final four. I got a one, five, two, four. So a little diverse, not so one, 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 two, or whatever like that. I love Duke, but I don't want to be too biased. Alabama is a very good team. And if Duke does lose earlier, I don't want to... I'll probably lose my bracket anyways if Duke lose early on. But I'm going to choose Alabama to play on April 3rd. And they'll be playing against Texas. As they played high caliber teams, I think they could um, knock off UConn. So just in a standard... Most championship games are 1-2. I think previous years has been an 8 seed. Uh, it's just mostly 1 and 2s, maybe a 3, like Texas Tech two or three, four years back. Um, but a one-two, I'm going to have Texas here. And I know not many, not many people watch my videos, but I'm not going to include my tiebreaker score if it, someone copies it and doesn't say it's going to ruin things. But I'll just look, I would recommend just look at past scores and just um, round and see what what your score would be. I recommend you doing this. It's like, make brackets, why not? Have fun. And I'm probably going to look back in two weeks and then a year from now and be like, wow, these guys' picks were absolutely terrible. What was he thinking? But it's all fun. It's all fun and games. I have an outstanding time watching all these games. The last week I've been watching all the conference games. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Peace.